Before we get into this Black Ops 6 XP farming video, I am giving away 5,000 COD points on a weekly basis. To win, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will pick a winner from the comments section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. So in this Black Ops 6 video, I bring you this amazing glitch or exploit, which will allow you to farm endless zombies as a solo player. Yes, I've seen the infinite zombie glitch where, well, creators are calling it zombie bot farms or uh, XP bot farms. They do, however, require teammates or even as a solo player, you need split screen or two consoles or platforms, I'm not sure, and does take some setting up. This farm today takes no setting up whatsoever and you can get started with this in about 5 minutes, it really is that easy. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So as you can see right here guys, I'm farming zombies who are just completely ignoring me, they pile up behind me, just waiting to be slayed. Now I won't claim I'm the first to find this, what I will claim is I found it by mistake. Uh, not knowing how to do the code. So what's happening here is the zombies are on a constant cycle of respawning over and over and over again while you are at this machine. They completely ignore you, pile up just behind you outside of this room, allowing you to take them out super super easy, earning tons of XP every time you do so. The best part about this is the fact we are on directed mode means the round is capped so the zombies don't get any tougher mean you can use and abuse this for as long as you like. Yes for sure it isn't the fastest out there in regards to XP glitches but it's one anyone can do super super easy and as a solo player no faffing about it's one of the better ones to do. So to do this guys it's really simple load into zombies select the mission and select directed mode then make sure you have the weapon of choice on Nothing else is required beyond whatever you want to level up and work on those camels towards. So load into that terminus mission and progress the mission guys. Obviously you first have to activate and protect the three AMP generators. The third brings you down to this section of the map right here guys, where upon you protecting that generator you then have to trigger the lift. Upon you triggering this lift people, your next uh, objective is to buy the dead wire perk for your weapon, then ride the elevator shooting the electrical panels which are marked on your map, pretty straightforward to find. Also on that lift is that pack a punch which is in real close proximity to where we actually abuse this uh, XP farm. So yes you can farm and level up your weapon with this pack a punch machine to make taking out these zombies even easier as you progress with it. So upon you shooting those electrical panels guys, you next have to retrieve the EMF fab from the doctor. So once you've done that, you then have to retrieve the contents of the doctor's briefcase. Upon doing this, you then have to return the resonator to the research lab. The next objective is where you can abuse his XP farm. So here you have to activate the harmonic triangulators. Now at this point guys, your round should be capped at a 10. It doesn't matter if they end, but 10 is a max level you can do this at because again, it's capped in that directed mode. Hence why the zombies never get any harder. Also around this area, like I said, is that pack a punch machine, which is on the lift you rode up here, as well as most other devices you need. But to be honest, you won't need them. So from this point guys, run to this machine directed on screen where your objective will state to use the triangulation values to solve the equations. So when you are interacting with this machine people, the zombies spawn in and completely ignore you then pile up behind you outside of this room. When that last zombie runs past you, simply run out behind them and take them all out. Then guys run back to the machine, interact with it, don't try and solve it, obviously you don't want to progress past this point. After about 10 seconds the zombies will respawn back in, again upon that last zombie running past you, you can simply just rinse and repeat this over and over and over until you get either bored of levelling up your weapon or got what you come here for. It really is as simple as that guys. Now like I said it isn't the fastest method you can use in regards to XP gains, there are some crazy XP glitches out there but most of them, if not all of them, require you to be in a team or at least split screening and if you, like I said you don't want to set any of that faff up and you want to get straight into those XP farms, especially as a solo player, I think this is definitely one of the best out there. 
Now this can be done in a team, but it won't be anywhere near as effective because like I said, the zombies when they spawn in are limited uh, because the amount of them don't change, neither does their level. So doing this in more than one player, I mean, you're just basically splitting the XP gains. You're going to be fighting to take out the zombies. So yes, only use this as a solo player in my opinion. Again, barely any setting up and a super, super easy method in earning XP and you're not doing other things like camels and more. If you do have those double XP tokens to use, you may as well take advantage of them while you can. Again, this is directed mode only. This won't work, I believe, in standard zombies. I mean, actually, I haven't really tested it. It may indeed work, but obviously the zombies are there will get tougher and tougher as the waves go up. So yeah, use and abuse this while you can in directed mode, where zombies are kept an easy and easy standard um, and you don't really have to struggle at all or even pay much of attention in taking them all out it's a proper chill xp farm in my opinion so yes guys there are many many xp farms they're going to nerf out of the game and i have no doubt this form of xp farm will be one they do nerf now going back to the XP tokens, when we got the season 1 patch, you may not know this but they rewarded you all of your previously earned uh, XP tokens from previous card games. I myself had like 60 of these. They then quickly later on that day, they hot fixed the game and removed these double XP tokens. But guys, you can actually still retrieve these and use them even in zombies. What you need to do here guys is back out to the main menu and they go into that war zone. Select Warzone, go into solos, quads, duos, whatever. Then you'll see bottom right of your screen will be that XP menu. Simply pressing that left thumbstick. Upon you doing this, guys, you can trigger any of these double XP tokens. Upon you triggering these, guys, you can then simply back out, go back into standard multiplayer if you want to play multiplayer and earn XP, or even zombies and use the glitch I covered today, or even glitches other people have covered, team ones. But yes, your XP tokens will now be active and you'll be earning double XP depending on the XP token you triggered. But yes, guys, this is a great way to get and retrieve those previously earned card XP double XP tokens, which they try to remove from multiplayer. You can still get them and use them. So yes, do what you got to do, guys. Again, this may be something as well they take out of the game. So use it while you can but on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one